From my research of the Quran and Hadiths, I found a great number of verses that mention how Allah and Muhammad had a twenty percent share of all the plunder, booty, loot, and slaves taken by Muhammad and his followers in their piratical raids. I am embarrassed to ask why would Allah, if He is the Almighty Creator of the universe, need any share of the plunder of His own creation? What kind of logic, morality, or intellect would attribute such blasphemy to any divine entity? In Arabic, the fifth of the plunder is called al khums or twenty percent, which is the portion of all booty, plunder, and loot taken in piratical raids upon innocent and unsuspecting tribes and people. That is the share of Allah and Muhammad. The Quran and a Hadith do not tell us the percentage proportion of the khums that belongs to Allah and what to Muhammad. One must come to the conclusion after studying the subject that it really is irrelevant, since Allah never claimed His share, all of which hence belonged to Muhammad. Why would Allah, the alleged creator of the universe, need a share from the booty and plunder of His own creation, as perpetrated by Muhammad and his thugs? Neither Muhammad nor the Ahadith, nor for that matter any of his followers, past, present or future, can possibly give a logical and reasonable explanation for it. In fact, to attribute to Allah such a need is by itself an act of utter blasphemy. Al-Nisa 4.94 With Allah are prophets and spoils abundant. Muhammad's Allah rewards his followers with booty and spoils on earth, and even greater ones in the afterlife, for massacring, murdering, despoiling, subjugating, raping, plundering, and enslaving all those who do not believe in Allah and his messenger Muhammad. Muhammad's compassionate and merciful Allah deliberately predestines these wretched creatures to their undeserved fate. They had no choice or free will in the matter. It is no great wonder that a great number of avaricious, ignorant and stupid men would follow and believe in such a generous deity. Surat Al-Anfal 8.1 They ask thee concerning things that are taken in spoils of war. Say, such spoils are at the disposal of Allah and the Apostle. Point four one, And know that out of all the booty that you may acquire in war, a fifth share is assigned to Allah and to the Apostle. Sahih Muslim Hadith 4328 narrated by Sa'ad bin Abu Waqqas. Musab bin Sa'ad said, My father took a sword from the Khums and brought it to the Prophet and said, Grant it to me. He refused. At this Allah revealed the Quranic verse. They asked thee concerning the spoils of war, say the spoils of war are for Allah and the Apostle. All the spoils of war are for Muhammad only to dispense with as he wished. He invariably used the booty and plunder to bribe and entice pagan Arabs to join his cult and to buy weapons to fight with. As usual, a very convenient made-to-order verse descends from Allah to justify it by divine order. Sahih Muslim Hadith 4346 narrated by Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah said, If a township disobeys Allah and his Messenger and actually fights against the Muslims, one-fifth of the booty seized there from is for Allah and his Apostle, and the rest is for you. Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith 5.637, narrated by Buraida. The Prophet sent Ali to bring the khums of the booty, and I hated Ali. And Ali had taken a bath after a sexual act with a slave girl from the khums. When we reached the Prophet, I mentioned that to him. He said, Oh, Buraida, do you hate Ali? I said, Yes. He said, Do you hate him? for he deserves more than that of the Khums. Ali had no right to rape her without first getting permission from Muhammad. Sunan Abu Dawood Hadith 2731 narrated by Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Apostle of Allah said on the day of Badr, He who does such and such will have such and such. The young men came forward and the old men remained standing near the banners and they did not move from there. When Allah bestowed victory on them, the old men said, we will support for you. If you had been defeated, you would have returned to us. Do not take this booty alone, and we remain deprived of it. The young men refused to give, and said, The Apostle of Allah has given it to us. Then Allah sent down, they asked thee concerning things taken as spoils of war, say, Such spoils are at the disposal of Allah and the Apostle. 
Sunan of Abu Dawood, Hadith 2743, narrated by Habib Ibn Maslama. The Apostle of Allah used to give a quarter of the booty as a reward after the fifth had been taken off, and a third after the fifth had been kept off when he returned. The so-called rewards that Muhammad was giving were not actually his to start with, not as a product of honest sweat and toil, but as a product of loot and plunder. Sunan Abu Dawood, Hadith 2737, narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar. The Apostle of Allah sent a detachment to Najd. I went out w along with them and got abundant riches. Our commander gave each of us a camel as a reward. We then came upon the Apostle of Allah and he divided the spoils of war amongst us. Each of us received 12 camels after taking a fifth of it. The Apostle of Allah did not take account of our companion, that is the commander of the army, nor did he blame him for what he had done. Thus each man of us had received 13 camels with the reward he gave. Muhammadan Islam was, is, and forever will be primarily about booty, plunder, rape, and enslavement.